Hey there everyone, Hanyu here, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Brief reminder that there is a poll in the description down below to uh, maybe get a little influence in on what I'm might play what I'm gonna be focusing on next once Danganronpa comes to an end, which it is rapidly coming to an end. <laughs> um that being said, uh, let's jump right in and get get right back to it. We were learning. We've learned a bit about the history of Hope's Peak and what happened before the uh, events of Danganronpa One, and we are going from there. I believe. Yes, leaving here. Find out what the next room we need to go to is. Which I believe is probably going to be this this room down here, and the force field is gone. So into the bio lab, which was be used as a makeshift morgue in the first game. What the hell is this room? It's freaking cold in here. It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. Probably a good idea. I see you down there. Uh, I've been found! Yes, you have. And I recognize those tarps. I recognize everything in this room. These are the morgues and stuff. This is the morgue. I've seen this in movies before. It's a refrigerator for preserving dead bodies. At least that's what it looks like, but that's not possible, right? Keeping dead bodies in a high school bio lab isn't something you should joke about. Feel It just feels so forced. This idea should have been cancelled during development or something. Hmm, what am I thinking? Another manga just laying around, there, around here. This time the title is... The Biggest, Most Awful, Most Tragic Event in Human History. Knew it, the next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? Just what was that incident really about? It might turn out to be something lame. That cover though, damn. Flip through the pages of the manga and hoped that I was right. Yeah, that cover, man. A story about creepily drawn characters get in, who get involved in such horrifying incidents. The incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is the do uh, is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? <laughs> anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students, and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet, and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon, soon came to light. By then it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished and wanton destruction became, became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak, the weak killed the weakest among them, and soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear, as if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them with, while enjoying a meal. Kinda sounds a lot like what's going on now, if you ask me. 
I mean, I know these games are actually quite a few years old, but they seem to be a satire on the current state of uh, situations now. <laughs> and that's actually a little scary. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etats began occurring around the world, a war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain, just war. Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak Academy, a group called Ultimate Despair. And instead of using Hope's Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they used them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society used their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. Don't be so, so sure about that. I mean, if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What happened to them? The so you kind of went off on a weird tangent with the whole the the local bookstore my favorite restaurant thing but I get where you're coming from so no way hey hey are you seriously yelling at a manga how crazy are you who would enjoy reading something like this what, what? oh my you don't like manga <sighs> a high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy Enough. What is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember that, such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though. Thanks to them stealing your school memories, the incident that happened during that period was... has been completely removed from your brains. Th this incident really happened, and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. What are you saying? How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues are here are real. Hello. Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the uh, full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. <laughs> I just wanted to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives at, in the outside world. I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by uh, what he said at the beginning. Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know? On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. He's trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world, so we'll want to stay on this island. <coughs> Excuse me. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps. No, that's definitely it. Tragedy added to truth bullets. Whether or not this incident really happened, what is the world is what in the world is this ultimate despair group? 
if they are devoted to a certain student who guided Hope's Peak Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, the organization isn't one, just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as Ultimate Despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they were called Ultimates. Then, are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? It's no use. I'm gonna freeze to death. I'm at my limit. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. I was close. I nearly froze to death. So what, where should I go next? Well, there was only one other room left that had a force field over it, right? And that was the one next to the classroom I was just in. No, I should ignore it. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see him. Okay, what are you up to, Pico? When I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me, I wonder why. Hm. <laughs> it's gonna be shitty either way. Damn right! So I'll let you handle it, there's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do that either. Fine. No. I'm liking to, but I guess I have to talk with Monokuma. That's who I was trying to select. Hiya. Why, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasingly well. Pum, pum. Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no! Well, there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. I got bored, draw bored of drawing manga, so can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's fine, whatever. You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. <laughs> High school student who doesn't, who doesn't like manga, that's like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up, what did you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about the, it's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. What? Surprise, it's about ultimate despair. Huh? Hmm. Even though the term ultimate despair re refers to a group these days, Actually. it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. A high school girl? Yes, indeed! Yep, and it was Lady Junko Inoshima. Junko Inoshima. Hey, um... As the former ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor and created the ultimate despairs. <laughs> there was only... There, there was one really horrible person in that group. Don't fuck with me! Hold on a second. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Unbelievable. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. Hey, um... That holds true for Lady Junko. With her char charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Phew. Her c connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? Then what was their purpose? Huh? What? L you. Like I said, why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they'd do what they did without a, any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko Inoshima's despair. Huh? For Junko Inoshima, despair isn't about purpose, 
a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko Inoshima as Junko Inoshima. Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that. <laughs> Junko Inoshima <laughs> is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving for hair, for, bleh, for her, everything is despair. Wh what the hell? Hmm. With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. The, that idea had been slammed right into their minds. <laughs> And so the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko Enoshima. Is it Enoshima or Inoshima? I think it's Enoshima. Uh, like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her, to her children. They dedicated all despair they could escape from. They dedicated all despair so uh, they could escape from despair, all in Junko Enoshima's name. For example, they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Have you... Hajime, do you know anything about cults? Because that is a cult. Plain and simple. It, it, basically, word for word, what Monokuma just described is a cult. Wah -wah? Do you know about the final days of the recourse, rec reserve course students during the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy? Final days? In other words... Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to re the reserve department? Of course! They, ref they fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. Excuse me. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so, the 2,357 students of the Reserve Department all commute committed mass suicide. Mass suicide? What'd you say? All 2,357 students? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded. Huh? Is that me? Damn it! I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. Heh. <laughs> it doesn't even it it doesn't scare me at all. I mean Bastard! Junko Enoshima is already dead. Huh? Ultimate despair has been added to truth bullets section. Reserve department has been updated in your handbook. And how does he know that? How does he know Jungo Enoshima is already dead when that took place after our school life? How do you know this, Fuyuhiko? Hey, Fuyuhiko, is it true what you said? Jungo Enoshima is really dead. Huh? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga from Mars Killing School Life. Ow. Oh. In that bloody classroom, which we didn't actually get to go into. A bloody classroom? No way. What was that you said about the killing school life? Okay, so that's how he knows about it. Like the killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened at Hope's Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat well, her. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. And the killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a, as a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey! For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. 
According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Junko Anoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Anoshima is dead. Like... Turns out that killing school life was part of the, that whole biggest, most awful, whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Peak Academy and she took away their memories. That's just like us. Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. That's the- that's a limit to being a cruel- there's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing. So... The students of Hope's Peak Academy are widely known as Symbols of Hope by forcing people to watch these Symbols of Hope kill each other oh, for the sake of survival. They were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. That huh. was messed up, yeah. But that messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Oshima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, huh. she took her own life. Then Junko is no more. Huh. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Bastard! Junko Enoshima isn't alive anymore. Then, who is our enemy? If Junko Enoshima is already dead and the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this, are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? There's only one thing I... That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we're involved in resemble that killing school life. <laughs> Well, I don't know oh, uh, who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but <laughs> an imitation is just that, an imitation. No shit! If the students from Hope's Peak Academy stopped the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fake. But if this is really an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? Cameras all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting to somewhere? Is this like the surveillance cameras during the school life? Killing school life? Killing school life added to truth bullets. Ultimate despair has been updated. Man, Hajime. You totally know what uh, know about that story, huh? What? You have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh well, I'll just raise a flag. Flag. What do you mean raise a flag? What's going to happen if you do that? Ooh, how One step exciting. at a time, you're getting closer to clearing my character route. Oh jeez, he means that kind of flag. Whatever. You're not making sense again. Well now. It's a dating game reference. And if anybody's ever seen the see, seen the anime or read the manga, the world God only knows. I highly, highly suggest it, because it's actually a very good anime and manga series, and that, that that's what uh, this whole flag talk got me thinking about just now. Anyway, carrying on. Now then, I'll give you guys my, my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah! I'll raise them flags like crazy. Okay, so, where to next? Oh, and we're suddenly on the fourth floor now. All right then, huh? It, it changed to a different hallway again. It's so sudden, what's going, to, uh, what's going on to make something like this happen? You're seriously asking that. You haven't honestly figured out that you're in the matrix and that you're in a digital world yet. I mean, Christ sakes, man. You can't be that dense. No, I've already decided that I'm not going to be surprised. That's a good idea. That's right, there's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. What's up, Akane? Kana is twitching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what happened? Based on my gut feeling. Well, you know, it's just my gut, but I feel like someone's getting closer. Huh? What do you mean? Who? So... I don't know. It's just my gut, after all. It's just my gut! 
But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but her gut must be correct again this time. Alright, next stop is the music room, but... And I know it's a little early, but... We are going to cut it here, so if you enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to, to uh, check out the poll in the description down below. And until next time, everybody, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye!